Make sure you subscribe to the channel, put post notifications on, tell all your friends, and make sure you like and comment down below. Uh, sorry, recently I haven't posted a lot of videos. Uh, my laptop um, has just stopped working, and I can't get it to work again, so I've lost all my content and everything like that. So, just got to start fresh, start recording more content, and hopefully I can get back to it. If you just want to win one of these Jacko launches or a Nature, Jacko or a Nature Noble, or some of this sunbeam, make sure you subscribe, put post notifications on, tell all your friends, and you might get a chance to win all this. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the videos, guys. I'll be posting more a bit regularly. I'm just going to have to do it on my phone, and um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed, guys. There you go, guys. Race Rouse here, back again with another Save the World video. This video is about the Storm Shield Defense War Games. How to AFK War Games. This is my base in Twine Peaks, the first main amplifier that you start with. Uh, this is just a little walk around of my base, how my, I AFK it. I got two bit of runs here. I got this one here, which is a little uh, launch off the off the hill part. You know, it's pretty basic, um, pretty easy to do. Um, because I've set it up as an AFK, I've got these two ramps here just to you know, funnel them up. Got tar pits to slow them down, broadsides, gases on top, and some dynamos just through the middle, you know, for that extra extra power there. Um, this is on a uh, Hus spawn, so they're a bit of a higher power level, 176. But really, guys, it's pretty easy. I'll give you a run around my base. If you like this uh, new series I'm going to do, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that uh, notification bell to get all my new videos. I'm going to try and do um, a video on each amplifier and each uh, way it comes, you know, north, south, east, west. I'm going to try and do each one that you have to do. Uh, just uh, take note, guys, this is me. Um, I've completed Storm Shield 10, so I've opened up every one, and these are the um, only ways that they come on the Storm Shield 10. So this is my little ramp here. They come up here if they're going to make it up here because I've overkilled it. If they make it up here, maybe one or two of them. You know, it's more for the smashes and the other big, uh, you know, big husks and the big uh, zombies that actually will make it up here. But they will get launched back down to the bottom and they'll have to walk all the way back up. Uh, when you're doing this, I'm on denied husk spawn, so it's much easier. Uh, that's just that there. That's you know my two way up. It's all uh, tar pits the whole way. And, you know, broadsides, gassies, pretty easy, pretty basic build. Uh, just the power and uh, all that that's going to take them out. Um, at the back end, if I go back around there, I'll show you what I have. I've, I've actually overkilled it down there. That's just because I'm, I'm building it more for AFK um, endurance. You know, you can AFK up to, you know, maybe wave 20, maybe a bit higher. Um, and then, you know, obviously you'll need a team to complete it because it gets uh, pretty hectic up that end. But really, this is just to AFK the first 10 to 20 waves on Endurance just to get them, you know, extra rewards and perk up and, you know, gold and all that sort of stuff. But this is for War Games, AFK War Games. If I walk it back around to the back here, this is where, you know, the two lines start and the up ramps there. As you can see, I've got broadsides either side. Gas is on that side when they walk up back up around when they get launched off. And that's it, guys. Only bad thing about the tar pits is they uh, run out of durability pretty quick. I only got one durability build on them, which, um, yeah, it's a bit how you're going. And down here is just where the power is. If you stand here when you're AFKing, um, they normally get stuck trying to turn around to look at you, but they normally get stuck there. And as you can see, my build there, I got all the electric ceiling um, zappers up the top, which is just to cause much um, damage to them before they get to the other part there you know the broadsides there just to cause some damage as well so they're a bit low on health when they hit up to the top so it's much easier to kill them and mostly when they lose a lot of health and they walk up to their launches when they get launched off they're actually going to take impact damage and die from that as well so they're not going to walk back around and use my durability of my traps for the second time but as you can see i've got all zappers there and around that whole base here where them zappers are up the back, that's all broadsides as well. So as you can see, the broadsides shooting through. That's because I got broadsides at the back as well. 
And I've got Broadsides there and a Gassy. So they're actually, you know, because it's Husk spawn, they're not even going to make it up here. Just got to make sure you watch out for them. Because if um, you're AFK, make sure you stay well away from where they, um, them, them things spawn. Because they're going to kill you as well. And if you die and it's only you in here, that's a fail straight away. I normally stand here. It's much easier. Nothing actually comes here. And if you look down below me, um, the Husk are actually going to bunch up there. Trying to, you know think if they can get me if I look down they're gonna get bunched up all down the bottom here they bunched up walking around in circles thinking how to get me because they're obviously not that smart but yeah guys this is how I build it this is my AFK main part obviously coming from the east side that's the only way it comes when you finish Storm Shield 10 and that's it guys hope you enjoy the video make sure you subscribe to the channel comment down below what you think about this series and like the video guys peace out race rouse